my name is Therese Scarano uh, and the business is Dressing for Two um, and our online, we are an online maternity boutique so it's dressingfortwo.com.au and we sell things, um, maternity fashion, accessories, products um, and we're just about to launch a new um, essentials package range for mums and their families. We've just opened an office in Canberra. We work with uh, small to medium enterprise businesses, uh, up to 200 employees, dealing um, in the advertising space, pay-per-click advertising, uh, brand reputation through social advertising, uh, display, um, display advertising and, and remarketing your business all online. My name's Anne Waithman. I run a physio-based Pilates studio, which is called Backing Strength in Canberra, and I have physio Pilates in Barrel. Phil Kavner, a cartoonist and illustrator. I do uh, a lot of event work, uh, drawing caricatures at events and things. Um, I have done uh, uh, various uh, published books and um, self-published books, and the odd occasion I've done Christmas cards as well for various businesses. My name's Phil O'Brien, uh, I'm the managing director of a, uh, a small business called Pajamar Holdings and uh, I have a license uh, for the Moboom uh, mobile ready platform. Um, we provide uh, mobile capabilities for any organisation large, large or small to uh, build a site once and then have it rendered to every device both mobile and desktop. Well, we're here at another Driving Business Online event, and I'm delighted to be speaking with Roxanne Baker, and we'll talk about her exciting online stores. So, good morning to you, Roxanne. Good morning. Now, so you've been online, I think, for about five years or so. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and what you actually sell online? Yes, um, online I sell um, women's fashion. Um, my demographic's mostly in the 30-plus um, age bracket, I guess you'd say. Do you find, do you notice a, a, any difference in the customer that's buying in your store or stores versus the person that's buying online? Mm -hmm. My local customers aren't buying online at the moment. Um, I find that the clients I'm picking up online are time poor professionals, um, people who live in rural areas where they don't have access to boutiques. Um, or people who can't find the product at their local store or their size. Do your staff and your um, physical stores, are they involved in the online side of the business as well? Yes, um, one of my staff comes in early every morning um, just to process orders and to um, go through any inquiries that we've had overnight. Uh, as you move forwards your, your demographic is kind of catching up and and you know, you've, you've grabbed your, your part of the marketplace, I guess. Yeah, that's what I hope to be doing. Um, I even try, like I try and get my head around a lot of the social media as well, but a lot of my demographic aren't really involved in at the moment. But I need to keep up with it all, so um, yeah, I think. So when your demographic are ready, you'll be there? Yes, I hope okay. so. <laughs> all right, well, Roxanne, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. I actually got a lot out of today's session, uh, particularly um, uh, the, the need to um, not panic, to pace yourself um, and that things do grow when you plant the seeds um, and that's probably the most um, important thing that I'll be taking away today um, is that I know that I am taking those steps um, and that if I keep taking those steps and keep watering um, and adding to the um, seeds that I've sown, then hopefully that's, um, it'll all come to fruition in the end. I really wanted to come today after seeing the advertisement in the paper just to see what other people who are coming to these events in Canberra, and Canberra is very close-knit. Uh, I wanted to see the, the inquiry on people that are uh, continuing to grow their businesses online and, and just to get a feel of everyone else's opinion on, on the online space, not just my own or, or, the, or Reach Local Australia's opinion. And, and just to see what's happening in, in, in that online space. I think that comment someone made about making sure that you spend time looking after your businesses as well as working in business, that will take me back and I'll think, well, I'll actually have to probably push looking at the Facebook and social network as well as getting a better website. And, and that I'll do as soon as I can. You know, there's, there's more to the web and driving business on the web than you know I've really thought of at the moment which is really kind of making me think about um, all of the things that that uh, I might be able to branch into or you know branch out with my my business and, and my skills. I think the biggest thing I took away from today was was um, um, the flying sorry flying solo 
Um, I wasn't aware of it, to be honest with you. I'd heard of, uh, I'd heard of Rob's name before, um, but uh, during the presentation I was actually looking at the site and uh, I'm signing up because I think the, uh, it's a fantastic uh, uh, site and uh, the, the opportunity for cross-pollination and, and uh, networking with other organisations and understanding how they're operating, what problems they're facing is ideal for me as well. I would definitely recommend this event to others. Uh, I do have other people, uh, friends and family who have um, businesses with websites um, and I'll definitely be encouraging them to attend. My recommendation to people coming along to these events is if you're starting a business online or you've even got a business online, you can't have too much advice. You can take it as much in as you want. You can leave it, leave it if it doesn't suit to you. But the more information you gather from online resource and these free seminars are fantastic and you've got to be a part of them. You've got to know what everyone else is doing to stay ahead of your market. I would definitely recommend other businesses to come and have a look because um, you never know what's out there until you know you actually explore the possibilities. I think this event's been uh, an excellent opportunity. Um, coming into it, the, uh, there was obviously a perception that this is about uh, PayPal. It's not. Uh, it's about uh, PayPal taking the lead but introducing other businesses and, and opportunities so that uh, small businesses can benefit. PayPal may get some benefit out of it but it's not guaranteed. More importantly, they're fostering growth in the economy, I think.